So here in Thailand, it's scorching hot, midday. Cool. I'll put that out. What's that in Fahrenheit? It's like 100 plus. It's fucking hot. I just jumped in the water then. I'm wearing like full on arm and fucking uh, leg protectors because I just come from an Australian winter so I don't get sunburnt and fried like a lobster. There's a do rabid dog that wants a piece of me right now. This guy's going to stalk me. Fuck. And, uh, you know. Sometimes they bite you, sometimes they don't. Luck of the draw. This guy's alright, he's probably too hot for him to bite. So don't follow my advice, because you could kill yourself by going, oh, I'm riding when it's 100 Fahrenheit degree temperature, and don't do that, you know, like ease into things. You know, I, I train, my level of training could kill the average person. You know, someone like Elliot or TMW tried to do the stuff I do, they'd probably, they would die. So don't. Don't do it, man, because you'd get a heart attack or you get overheat, heated and heat exhaustion. Don't try and emulate what I'm doing. This can be very dangerous. It takes years to build up to this sort of level. You can't just jump right into it, otherwise you can kill yourself. But that's what I do to stay cool is just cover up because, uh, you know, you, you don't want to burn yourself. You never, ever want to get sunburned. And using a physical barrier like a, an arm cooler or a leg cooler, etc. Well, they, they call them coolers. He's a fucking pig. Check this boy out. It's a good thing that... Hey, this guy. I'm gonna get out of here in case he rips the fucking fence down. <laughs> but, uh, seriously, you gotta ease into it, ease into it, and be smart with the, with the sun. Be smart with the sun. And, uh, this dog boy out here, boys, on edge. Be smart with it, ease into it. Protect your skin, don't wanna burn yourself. Sunscreen is a chemical barrier. Fabric is a physical barrier. Choose physical barriers versus chemical barriers. I mean, if you have these on your nose, fair enough, but when it comes to your, most of your body parts, protect it from the sun. Unless you're like, got the, unless you're genetically gifted with dark skin, man. I envy those people with dark skin. I wish I was born dark skin. I just fucking ride, no matter what. And uh, that's what you gotta do, man. Just acclimatize to the warmth. Don't just jump into it like I do. Take your time. The fitter you are, the more you can push it, maybe. But and I don't use any caffeine. So today, out riding in the sun, no caffeine. So I can really listen to my body, fine tune it, fine tune it to the right percent. Get my water in, get my sugar in, just listen to it, and stay out of trouble. You know, stay out of danger, stay out of trouble. So it's never too hot for me to train. Never too hot. Easy. And what last tip would be: drink enough water so your urine is clear and you're pissing every two hours. So don't use caffeine in hot weather. Drink enough water so you've got clear urine. Me, I follow a low sodium diet. Low sodium diet, definitely. I don't take any sodium up. So that's my personal choice. You do your own experiments. I work best on low sodium, otherwise I start to cramp up if I increase my sodium intake. I focus on water, carbohydrate, and sleep. Early nights definitely help with the dealing with hot weather 100%. Post your comments and questions down below. How do you deal with hot weather? It's fucking hot, I can't think straight, man. <laughs> That's one of the first times I hit stress, you can't think straight. So I'm gonna get off this camera.